Hi everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games with a review of Uro. This is a rhythm action game that's available on PC. It came out towards the back end of 2018, start 2019, and has come over from Asia. This is a keyboard only rhythm game that's available on PC as well, so just get that one out in the open. The game reminds me very much in terms of Radio Hammer Station, in which you're running almost like an endless run in front of you, and something will be coming towards you, and you need to bash it out of the way. Um, this in in this game is like crystal notes that will float towards you and you've got like a shimmery line and as it hits that line you need to hit the keys uh, corresponding with the colour and then continue on. There's no colour blind mode so if you're colour blind this game will be useless to you. However, the game itself is heavily flawed on several different levels although I'll explain how it works in first and then break down why it falls apart later on. The game works by pressing D, F, J, K and space. In easy and normal mode, the space bar is always yellow notes, which are long and held, so you just hold down space and then let go as that kind of finishes and passes through the uh, shimmery light. And in easy and normal mode, blue crystals will come towards you and you can hit any of the letter notes that I mentioned before, D, F, J, K. When you hit expert mode, you then have blue and red crystals and D will be blue, red will be F, D will be, uh, sorry, J will be blue, K will be F which kind of makes sense because if you're where the stuff comes at you at quite a pace it's almost like you're finger walking and that's how the rhythm of this game is set up and um, once you get used to that you'll have blue red and then yellow hitting but then it will start to color combinate so you'll, you'll get a purple crystal that will come through that you need to hit blue and red together and you'll get an orangey looking one which will be yellow and red and so on and so forth so you've just got to kind of get that in your head once you've dealt with that, it kind of makes sense as it comes towards you. If only the game could keep up. <laughs> and here is the crux of why Uro doesn't work necessarily well. Um, as you travel through the land and it's going at a pace, these crystals will come towards you, but it's very fluffy, the collision detection. And essentially, the game is looping a very short background constantly on loop over and over. So about three or four times per run through, you'll get a freeze frame stutter in the graphics where it's reloading the loop of the graphics that you're passing through in the background, depending on the world that you're in. Uh, it feels like some of those worlds are more graphically intensive than others, which then slows the game down and causes longer for that pause as it's reloading stuff in the background. That then affects your own performance because you'll miss a note and then you'll be like well bah, I can't perfect this anymore and it's not even my fault it's because the game is clunky. Add to that that the game itself has a bit of a hit and miss collision uh, like detection of what you're actually pressing particularly when you've got several of the same note coming at you at once. Because I was talking about the collision detection being quite faff, uh, fluffy um, and it can, it's very forgiving actually on one side or the other. You don't really get like in other games where you get like perfect, great, nearly there miss. This is either hit or miss, but there's quite a wide berth in what is considered a hit. But you might hit it a few times and it's still busy clearing the previous note for it to then think that you've actually not hit the next one and it won't get rid of it essentially. That is kind of frustrating if you're going from a perfect perspective. So that provided with frame rate issues, loading and freezing of screens, and then add to it what I can only describe as one of the more hilariously poor English translations that I've read in quite a long time in short little stories between. The word blue is misspelt throughout. Um, yellow is missing a W. It's just hilarious. I, I can kind of vaguely grasp the story that's going on. It's not very good, but it's made so much better by the hilarious, hilarious uh, Google Translate then typed out with a monkey <laughs> um, like translate it did, uh, text that's come over. Um, not that I could do any better in translating my words into another language, but it's just if you're paying for it, you would hope that it would be vaguely okay. The game's soundtrack is a real mixture of like really hyper cheesy J-pop slash K-pop uh, music, some like MIDI dramatic music, some new age 
uh, techno music where it's taking like Zen influences and then throwing it together with a beat. And in general, the soundtrack is actually really quite decent. Um, but you'll never really get to play it beyond easy and medium mode because as soon as it hits expert, the game can't keep up with itself. And with those aforementioned problems that I was saying beforehand, it falls apart a little bit. You'll not be gaming for 100%, you'll just be aiming for clears. Um, and if you're okay with that, the game's a fiver, give it a go. I paid a fiver for it, it was on 25% off at the time. Um, I kind of feel like I enjoyed my experience, but perversely, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, it's by no means a great rhythm game. It's got soul and it's got character, and that goes so far. But if you're looking for an actual decent rhythm action game, this one isn't for you, I'm afraid. So, yeah, if you're like me and you love your music games, pick it up and have a giggle. But, yeah, don't go for El Matador. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.